I think it's safe to say that no one likes a hangover. <laughs> After a long night of drinking and other rambunctious behavior, you have to pay for it in the morning <laughs> with a ridiculous headache. Hello. Welcome to another week of Drinks with Jay. I'm Jordan, your host. This week, we're taking a journey into the dark abyss of hangovers. Don't you just hate hangovers? They are the absolute worst. They are sometimes the reason I question my drinking habits. But in the end, I always push through. And how, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked, Internet. Jay's famous huge mimosa. Delicious, full of vitamin D and calcium, and champagne, and tastes nothing like alcohol. You know, after a long night out, you're, you wake up, your head's pounding, uh, your mouth is dry, your stomach has weird noises going on inside of it, and overall you just never want to see alcohol ever again. Until you try my famous mimosa. So what you do, you take the cheapest bottle of champagne you can find. Twisted, wow, resealable champagne, you don't, you don't, you can't get quality like that anywhere. Four dollars, uh, let's see, it was four ninety four. came out to about five oh seven after tax. All together it was under ten dollars. Got a little air rate, oh, that is... Fancy. You pour in about three parts champagne. And then you take a beer of your preference. I chose Miller. I got a four pack of Miller for $2.94. And you add enough, it's about two parts Miller on top of that. And then I got a gallon of orange juice from Walmart for about $3.50 with um, genetically altered so it could have more calcium and vitamin D. And then you add four parts of that. And then it kind of does its, its own thing. Um, all the liquids kind of get in there and they, they kind of accentuate each other. They kind of get to know each other and say, hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm champagne. I'm orange juice. And this is beer. And they mix together very well. And now, it tastes like heaven, absolute heaven. And you might ask, how am I certified to tell you what to drink when you're hungover? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I am hungover. I went out last night and I regret it. But thanks to my famous hangover recipe, I'm getting better. One of the best parts about it is the orange juice. Um, that, that's the strongest flavor from it. And, uh, you know, you, you regain a lot of the vitamins you lost throughout the night, whether you threw them up or you just drank them away. And, uh, yeah, I, I've been very short on my calcium, so I, I, I was sure to get the, uh, the calcium-altered orange juice. And on top of that, the champagne really adds this uh, kind of tangy flavor to the orange juice. It, uh, Gives it a different flavor. I almost want to say that it makes it spicy, but it's not spicy. Um, I I don't know the word I'm looking for, honestly, but it's it's a it's a darn good mimosa if I do say so myself. On the hangover scale, I give it a one out of five because you can't get a hangover from a hangover recipe. That, that's for sure. <laughs> um, tastiness, I'd say it's it's a darn good B plus, A minus if you get some better champagne. I I chose the Bottom shelf champagne, of course, because this is the most cheap and affordable mixed drinks, as my vlog is dedicated to. And so I'm trying to find the most financially beneficial uh, drinks for college students. It is delicious, though. As always, please drink responsibly. Well, and drink responsibly the night before you have one, as well. Just drink responsibly in general. Please. It's scrumptious. 
just scrumptious. What else do I have to say? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Cheers. <laughs>